people abuse me, abuse me around here for going to Bunnings so often. Um, it's almost a daily occurrence for me. Sometimes, maybe even more than once a day. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's like a five minute drive each way. Uh, and just buy stuff as you need them rather than stocking up because if you stock up you got nowhere to put them or you're tripping over stuff and when you don't know what you're doing anyway you don't know what you need until you need it so I've been to Bunnings again today I got um, blue load bearing sticks to do this nip wall and an concrete anchors. Never used them before. I've always used um, Dyna bolts. So I thought I'd get these screw type an anchors today. I've just uh, laid out the bottom stick here and I'm checking the measurements. Sorry about the wind noise. It's late in the evening, but I'm still in the mood, so I'm going to cut a sheet of uh, plasterboard and stick it up. another shift in here without filming. I'm feeling the uh, pressure of a looming deadline. Today is Tuesday. It's already past 12. I'm only getting started 
but I'll show you what I did yesterday. I put noggins in the back of the wall. I spent two hours yesterday getting the blue cables out of the ceiling here. Although getting them out of the ceiling was easy when I went the other side to get them into the bedroom. It took me forever because uh, there's a double ceiling in there too. But that was two hours of uh, messing about that I could ill afford. Anyway, next next step is to do this wall. Got to go to Bunnings first though. I don't think I'm going to do it with plasterboard. I'm going to do it with fiberboard for the extra rigidity that's in the fiberboard. Oh, and part of that process is I need to use my diamond blade to square them off nice and neat down there in the corner. I might do that first actually. Uh, that way the dust will be settled when I come back. I think I might indulge in a shower before I go to Bunnings. Had my shower, changed my clothes, went to Bunnings, did some vacuuming. It looks good now, like polished concrete. Uh, so now I'm going to tackle this wall. Uh, I already put a stick in that corner. So that stick there and the wall itself are my guides. I've also put the square on it. And the square says that's pretty square and this ends pretty square to the wall next to it. So I'll come back to you when I've done a bit of around a bit of uh, messing about let's see if I can do this the easy YouTube way boom I think I'm happy enough with this as it is. I put in that much wood and it was getting down to being little thin bits. Uh, and I don't think I need to fuss that much about it. My plan is to mix up some uh, plaster adhesive and slop it on there. And I've got the first board cut. I'm going to stand it in place first and then get the uh, adhesive mixed up. That pipe I was struggling with just then, but I'm okay. Now I've got to make holes for the taps to protrude. Accuracy here with this would be nice. So, see how far away that is. 255 mils. 200. And 55 and about that high prey. Diamond tip. will hold the drill in place and I can move over slightly. 
probably about there. That was the theory anyway. I'm as prepared as I'm ever going to be, I think. So I'm just going to go for it. But I'm very, very nervous about this. Because once I commit to it, I can't stop. And I can't go back. And if it isn't right, my reputation is in the gutter. If I have a reputation. Far corners where I want most of it. It's the next day. It's only ten past nine. I'm not even awake yet. But this looks pretty good. It's like it's like concrete there where the glue really stuck in. There's a couple of a couple of rattly bits, but not much. But we're a straight edge on it. It's um, not perfect, but it's pretty good. And way better than the wall that was there. something I've never done before plastering an inside corner
I've got to get this floor done for the uh, waterproofer who's coming on Friday and today is Thursday No, today is Wednesday Oh yeah, <laughs> today is Wednesday What did you just tell me? Uh, today's Wednesday, he's coming Friday, so I should, yes, I need to do the floor today so that it's good and dry by the time he gets here. Oops, I forgot the camera again. That's a bag of floor leveler. I did it as per the instructions with water quantity, etc. But it seems to me it's too thin. It flowed downhill. So now I just have to wait and uh, let it set. And then I'm going to do a second bag with less water so I can do my uh, slope properly. Mm -hmm. 